Hello, this is Mark Piller, and today I would like to show you the latest integration we have added to WebWorp for Java with Google App Engine. With the integration, you can deploy WebWorp for Java inside of your Google App Engine application and uh, leverage all the functionality provided by WebWorp, uh, specifically integration between all supported client types and Java services hosted inside of your application. For example, you could have a Flex client, Flash client, Silverlight, Ajax client, or any of the mobile clients we support communicating with your Java services. Let me show you how that is done. I'm going to be using uh, Eclipse with the Google App Engine plugin, uh, and I uh, will start by creating a new project. And I will assign a project name. I'll call it My Cloud Project. I'm going to keep all the defaults uh, in, uh, in the plugin because they should just work for me. And uh, for the package, I'm just going to call, call it com.cloud.webwork. Now the project is created, and I, I will switch from Package Explorer to the Project Explorer. And for this, I'm going to go into Window, Show View, Project Explorer. Project Explorer, I believe, is more convenient to work with because it is easier to configure it to show all the directories which exist in this project. Specifically, uh, one of the steps in the deployment, we will need to use this webinf classes folder, which shows up right here, but does not show up in the Package Explorer. As you can see, there is no classes. It is, it is hidden, but it is shown in the Project Explorer. The process of deploying WebWorp into the project is very straightforward. It is actually fully documented in the um, user guide. If you open WebWorp for Java Developer Guide and navigate to Google App Engine Integration, the deployment section provides all the steps for deploying uh, WebWorp into your project. Uh, so if you were to uh, deploy it into your project, I recommend going by the developer guide, although I'm going to demonstrate all these steps here in the video as well. In order to deploy, you need to have WebWorp for Java installation. Uh, and uh, the installation that you would need to have is going to be at least WebWorp for Java 4.1. In this case, I have uh, WebWorp already installed, so this is the full installation of the product. So we will we'll start first by copying the required files into my project. Uh, I'm going to go into web app, web inf, lib, uh, locate webwarp.jar, and then copy it into my project. Copy. And it's going to go into war webinf lib. So in this case, webwarp.jar is already deployed. The next step is to copy uh, web app webinf flex folder. You will need to have all the XML files in here. So I'm going to copy the entire folder. And it's going to go into war webinf. There you go. And finally, uh, we need to make a configuration change uh, to register WebWorp as a servlet in the uh, in the application. For to do this, I'm going to go into Web App WebInf and locate web.xml. Open it in a text editor. There are two sections we need to copy into web.xml in the uh, Google App Engine application file. One of them is going to be WebWorp servlet, this one. And here's web.xml in my project. So I'm going to paste the servlet in here. And the second is going to be the servlet mapping for the WebWorp servlet. And the final step of configuration is to provide WebWorp for Google App Engine subscriber ID in the configuration file. If you go back to the documentation, uh, specifically here, step number five is registering for a WebWorp for Google App Engine account. When you go to this page, you will be presented with a form where you need to provide your contact information and the billing information. 
The reason for this is WebWorp for Google App Engine, since it runs in the cloud, it has a different pricing structure than the traditional deployment of WebWorp. And the credit card must be on file. Once you register, you will receive an email as well as the information on the screen that will give you the subscriber ID. That's the subscriber ID that must be added to app engine-web.xml. There is a template that you can use, uh, which is already available in WebWorp distribution. And specifically in web app, web env, there is a file app engine-web.xml. And here in system properties, there are two properties which you can just copy into your file. And these two values you will need to provide once you register for WebWorp for Google App Engine account. At this point, the WebWorp integration into my Java App Engine application is complete. And I'm going to add one simple service, which is going to be just a Java class with two very basic methods. I'm going to call the class my service. And the two methods I'm going to add are echo string, which will just return a string value it receives from the outside. And the other one, just a method that returns hello world. This basic Java class, uh, once WebWorp is deployed in this application, and it, it already is, becomes a service which can be accessed by any supported client, uh, including Flex, Flash, Silverlight, Ajax and uh, all the mobile clients that we support. Now that uh, this application is complete, I can deploy it. However, for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to de also deploy WebWorp Management Console into this application, just so we can see the service without writing a whole lot of client code. The process of deploying Management Console is optional, and uh, it also consists of several files which must be copied into the structure of this project. First of all, under web app, uh, web app, and this is my web app installation. So under web app, there's console folder, which I'm going to copy and put it under war. Under web app assets, uh, code gen, there are several uh, XSLTs which we can use for code generation purposes, and I'm going to copy them all as well. And finally, if we were to use code generation, I also need to register uh, yet another servlet. Uh, and once again, that step is optional. So under webinf, uh, web.xml. There's a servlet that is there to serve the functionality to download generated code. And you can see it right here and that's going to go into my web.xml and there is a servlet mapping for that servlet under webinf lib there are several jar files which we need to copy, and all of them are described in the user guide. At this point, the management console will run in Google App Engine once this application is deployed. The process of deploying the application is also very straightforward, and that is really a function of the Google App Engine plugin for Eclipse.
have an application called Web Warp Cloud. So the application is being deployed right now. Now that the application is deployed, as this message indicates, we can just navigate to Web Warp uh, Management Console for this particular application. The reason I go to webwarp.wo is because this is the mapping for the webwarp servlet, which will bring up the management console for this particular application running in Google App Engine. So this console is loaded, and um, the, the title indicates that this is webwarp for Google App Engine Cloud Edition. Under Services, I can just expand this node to see the services which are deployed into this application. So here it is, my service, the class that I added. If I expand, there are two methods. Uh, echo string will take an argument. I can invoke it. So this is an invocation of that Java service running in the cloud. And it re just echoes this value back. Or say hello will just return hello world. Now, the code generation is also uh, part of this management console with the classes, with the, with the files which I have deployed. To demonstrate code generation, I can go with any supported client type, and all of them are listed here. There's uh, several Flex frameworks, Ajax, Silverlight. So for the Ajax client, I can just select this, click Download Code, and I get the zip file which contains all the generated Ajax JavaScript code, which will enable me to invoke methods on this particular Java service. The zip file I just downloaded contains all of the generated code, and you can see it by going inside of the, the zip. So you can see that there's a HTML file, which is just a sample application that demonstrates how to use the generated code, and uh, as well as the Web Warp Ajax library and the JavaScript containing all of the types required to run this particular example. So when I run this, I can select either, either one of the methods. So if, let's say if it is say hello, I can invoke it. And this is the invocation coming from, from the service running in Google App Engine. Also, uh, as you can see, uh, the, ex this, this page automatically generates JavaScript code, which can be copied and pasted into your application. So for echo string, I can just enter any string and invoke the method again. And this invocation comes back with an Ajax uh, response for, uh, from that particular service. So this concludes the demonstration of uh, using WebWorp with Google App Engine.